We're gonna move things forward here in another 170 pound fight. And Rick, this is one, every event you circle one fight on a card that you can't wait for. And for me, this is the one, amateur welterweight Sean Felton and Dave Gabig. Um, you know what, uh, I, uh, Dave Gabig's an absolute warrior. I've had the privilege to, to, to be around him. And uh, he, he is very determined. Right, and George Phillips will have the official introduction. He's gonna bring both of these guys out to the cage. Send it back up to George. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three. Three minute rounds at the pinnacle. Catch weight of 165 pounds, amateur division. This bout is being brought to you by the Rehab Center, Runner Contracting, and PGH Made. Introducing your combatants first. Fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Sean Felton. And if you've never seen a Sean Felton fight before, then you're in for a treat, at least with the introduction, as he's gonna get his own very special rap to the hey, cage. Are you ready? Kennesburg, Pennsylvania, are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> hey, are you ready? I think we're ready as Sean Felton, 24 year ready? old. Is set to make his way to the cage here and found a bit of an unorthodox fight hey, here. Are you ready? The Muay Thai ready background. Four wins, two losses coming in. Three wins in a row. I was, already, I was in my car. Has a Muay Thai background. Four fights in a Muay Thai in the Muay Thai cage and now six fights in MMA. Sean Fountain making his way from New York here to Pittsburgh. A uh, very decorated fighter. Uh, he comes to fight, he is definitely a game opponent. Um, you know, he has uh, big dreams and aspirations. Western New York MMA is a very, very well-respected gym. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, I've never, other than video, I've never had the chance to see this kid fight. I'm looking forward to sitting cage side to see this go down. Known as Superfly. He is a very tall southpaw. The two things that are, you know, working against Dave is that, you know, the kid is, has the height advantage and he has that southpaw. And he has his own walkout music. I mean, come on. He doesn't even need an introduction, but I think we're still going to introduce him. Six one superfly, twenty four year old felt. We see Superfly's dad is actually in the cage, holding up his belts. Very proud dad. He's making us wait a little bit here. A little bit of showmanship maybe. Taking his time inside the Pinnacle cage as he's making his Pinnacle FC debut. A guy we are very excited to have here fighting for Pinnacle. Getting his uh, mind right, I guess. Yeah. And George Phillips has the mic back ready to bring out his opponent. opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Dave Garbig. And Rick, it's been a long time coming, man. It's been almost four years since this guy has set foot, and he said 
simply, this is the payoff. Well, listen, I have told this kid, he, he, since, day, since his early amateur career, he's always been one of my favorite guys to watch. Um, he is just, he's just game. He wants to go bang. Let's see this. I, I'm excited for Dave Gabig's return. And of course, the backstory here for Dave Gabig, the comeback story here for Dave Gabig, fought 2011, fought for amateur national title. After that fight, had a neck, severe neck injury, and really just tried to replicate the adrenaline rush that he got from mixed martial arts and found that in, unfortunately, drugs and partying. Yeah, well, you know what? And he's Hit also had very, very bad luck on pedal bikes. Um, I try to tell the guy all the time, stay off the pedal bikes. Uh, he, he, he's uh, he, he's, a, he's very familiar with Southside, and uh, I think Southside and a pedal bike does not mix. And he said he went back into the pinnacle cage in this, or Fight Club Pittsburgh gym in December, and those guys welcome him back with open arms as we take a look here, Rick, at the tail of the tape. What sticks out to you here in these between these guys? Well, okay, you know, we have, of course, the reach advantage by Felton. He, he's a striker. He likes to bang. The, the, the cage rust that Gabe has could play a factor in this. We all know when you take a, uh, an amount of time off, um, you know, it, it's not the same as being in there on a regular basis. Uh, Felton is on there on a regular basis. He's, he's very active, and he's 24. You know, we have a 30-year-old Dave Gabig uh, that's been around the block a few times. So let's see how that, that Gabe, Dave pulls this together. And they do say, though, that once you hit 30, you get that old man strength. So hey, listen, that might I, be on his side in this one. Of a man that just turned 33, I will tell you that's a very true thing. Said his fighting style before was always more heart and balls than technique, but got the technique training with Bob Meese, Anthony Durnell, Lou uh, Armazani. Well, you know, his original team, PTT, which was comma Mark, you know, uh, Donnie Caker. Um. George Phillips has the official introductions here. We're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It's at a pinnacle catch weight of 165 pounds in the amateur division. This bout is being brought to you by the Rehab Center, PGH Made, and Brennan Contracting. Introducing your combatants. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, one inches tall, and weighed in at 164 pounds. Six MMA contests, four victories against two defeats. He represents WNY and Victory MMA and hails from Buffalo, New York. Please welcome Sean Superfly Fountain. His opponent across the cage to my right, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 165 pounds. Nine MMA contests, six victories against three defeats. He represents Fight Club Pittsburgh and hails from the city of champions, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Dave Gobby. Three three-minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action is Chip Snyder. Chip Snyder, your third man in the cage. Sean Felton in the pink trunks. Dave Gabig in the bright green. 165-pound catch weight. And Rick, we are ready to go. These guys look like they're ready for war. No glove touch here in the first round. No, they, they, they come out and they, they striking immediately. Oh, there goes Get Dave. Successful in overhand. Good head position. Just really looking for that. He's really pressuring him. Gabe Five is stalking success. here from the get-go. And it didn't seem like he landed a whole heck of no, a lot. Dave for... walking through his punches. Very determined. Uh, Dave against the cage now. We got good head position by Felton. Uh, he's looking to like, just hold him there. I think Dave wants to be active, though, here. Okay, good circle out by Dave. Gabe turns him. Now has Sean Felton's back on the cage as he is looking to... Yeah, yeah uh, Dave looking inside. to apply that pressure. Um, good head position. He, he's looking for the inside knee there. He, he's, he's really exploiting the fact that he's shorter and, and, and working that cage a lot. You hear Kama Worthy in his corner screaming for the head position. And Dave really didn't look like he's actually looking for the takedown in this one. He looks like he wants right. to separate and bang a little bit more. Well, if you know Dave, he likes to, he likes to scrap. So he's been really hungry for this fight. 
They trade knees on the inside. Gabig actually now dropping down. Good defense for the by double Felton. leg. Knee that body, knee that body, Dave. Felton doing a good job here. There you go, baby. Well, Dave needs to be careful he doesn't blow that load. You know what I mean? He's going hard. You know, uh, Felton's a little bit more composed. He's kind of like laid back waiting for it. Maybe, action. maybe looks like he might be looking for maybe a, a throw or a hip toss as he starts to turn those hips. A hip out attempt. He, he attempted to hip out of that uh, unsuccessful. Gabig, another good job here with the head position up against the Cajun. He's a guy who's a really gritty, grinding fighter, and this is kind of back to some old school uh, Dave Gabig. Nice Gabig. successful knee for Felton. Uh, he's finding range with that knee on the inside. Oh, that looked like it hurt. He bit on that a little bit. Dave, Dave needs to reposition here. He's, he's kind of exhausting himself by this pressure. And Felton has that outside wizard, which is really controlling a lot of the positioning of Dave Gabig as Felton again looks Dave, to try to. Gabig just landed a shot, made him uncomfortable. Felton wants to get out of there. Yeah, Felton was trying to release off of the cage, but Gabig keeping the pressure Gabig on him here. Gabig needs to drop his level. He needs to change level and go for those legs. And the um, big the big thing really here that Sean Felton has is he do, does still have that whizzer on the outside, that overhook. Big knee that is big controlling knee to the of, uh, Gabig's positioning. Felton. Gabig just ate one to the sternum here. Nice knee by Felton. Uh, they're, they're looking to grapple here, it looks like. The underhook uh, by Felton. Under 30 seconds left to go here in the first round. We have a 50-50 kind of here. They're looking for position in the grappling. And Felton looking to turn Dave and put him up against the cage. And now looking for that double leg takedown. Dave, Dave defending that, 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 that takedown attempt. 10 seconds left to go here in the first round as Felton looking for the takedown. And he's not going to be able to get it here before the end of the first round. And Rick, I got to ask you, Dave has, has been out of the cage for almost four years and now has a, a round under his belt. You got to figure. A little bit of an adrenaline dump, but maybe now he realizes, hey, I'm in a fight. This feels like home, man. Yes, you know what? This is a this is a more composed Gabig than I, than I than than we've seen. Um, you know, he, he's looking for the pressure. He's not he's not taking those risky strike attempts. He's he's got good head position. He's looking. And you know, we're gonna look here at the replay as Gabig was stalking here early in the first round, and that big right hand from Felton yeah. just barely grazes Gabig, and Gabig lands. Walked right through it. Gabig landed a shot there, and actually you see Felton pushing uh, Felton, levels Felton and unable to get that up. takedown. Definitely backing up. Gabig's definitely the aggressor, uh, you know, and he wants to keep it standing. You know, he has the ability to take it to the ground, but he's not using it because I think he wants to show hands. The break is over in between rounds. Chip Snyder checks, make sure the judges are paying attention. That's always important. Round two here. Sean Felton and Dave Gabig. Good again, movement no by Dave cuts. Gabig. A little hit to the back of the head from Felton. Nice straight punch from Gabig. Gabig again is the aggressor, the stalker here. Felton and does not look like he wants to bang with Gabig at all. He's backing up, his head's ducking. A right, I think it's a matter of time for Gabig to find his mark. Right hand landed flush there for Gabig. Nice, nice, Another right over right the chin, overhand right by Gabig. Felton kind of hanging on for, for dear life here. And we do see a composed Dave Gabig here taking his time. And now. Uh, excellent takedown. Leg pick. Ends up in half guard here. Almost looked like he had was going to step into full he, mountain. He, he here missed on the that ground. opportunity to step over. Um, a little mistake by Gabig. But there he goes. He's, he's, he's trying to. That cage is working against him right now as well. Felton using that kind of as like a support, you know, to keep Gabig from passing the guard. Gabe again, half guard here, now looking to, to try to find some space to land some shots. A little short left hand there. No, which is exhausting. You know, Felton's pulling him down, but Dave's also trying to strike, and he's exhausting himself by, by pushing down. He needs to posture up and find the strike. There he goes. Okay, let's see that looking posture. Looking to try to sneak movement. that right leg through. No. Unable to do it he against the long. He needs to step over. He needs to trap those legs and step over. Unable to step over against those long legs of Sean Felton as we are about halfway through the second round. Sean Felton. Now Dave has him pressured against the cage. He can't go anywhere. Um, Dave might find success in strikes. Okay, okay, we see Felton here using the cage. Maybe looking at triangle. Okay, watch, watch for the submission. Bar. Watch for triangle. This is not good for Gabig. He needs to immediately to, to defend his knife. He passes that triangle. Great job and now has the back Great. of Sean Felton as he's a little Great high. Great attempt here. by Felton, but it put him in a bad way. 
Put him Gaming in the is a little way. high here, but actually repositions and, and Okay, he got his legs out. in. Do you see he, he's sinking that leg? He, need, he needs to hold that back position. Oh, back in the half guard for Gabik. Now half guard actually on the opposite side as we are under a minute to go here in the second round. Good Dave pressure Gabik. by Gabik. He's being very heavy, not giving this kid a chance. In control, as you see the Metcon photos logo on the butt of Dave Gabik. I think a great product placement there for Chris Nolan. The very Chris much. <laughs> Nolan, a great, a great photographer as well. Okay, Gabik still with the pressure here. Um, you know, he's still an amateur, so we're not seeing no elbows, but, you know, you, for future strikes, he's gonna he's setting it up very well. And Gabig okay. now looking to grab that arm, maybe looking for either a straight arm bar or a Kimura. Or there really you go, position to strike. Gabig doesn't like to submit. He wants he wants a strike, he wants a striking finish. He wants to knock this kid out. And Felton again regains guard here with you know just 10 seconds left to go in the round, but Gabig is the aggressor is on top, and you gotta figure he's winning this round. Um, the, the concern is here, how much is Gabig exhausting himself here and how much of a break is Felton taking? Right. Now in this third round, what are we gonna see, you know? And both guys, you know, the experienced amateur fighters here, both do still look to be pretty fresh here going into the third round. Uh, you know, at the time off for Gabig, it appears to do him justice. Uh, that can work very, very negatively for, for a fighter. Uh, but Gabig looks. And we're looks gonna take a look at the good. replay here. The right hand from Gabig. That's straightforward pressure. He's always been known for that, and it's and it's working well for him. Similar to a, to his teammate Mark Cherico is a very similar fighter. Likes to follow in those punches. Good job by Dave Gabig getting that body lock here. Eventually getting the takedown and really spent most of that round on top of Sean Felton. Well, you know, if you do something that works, why change it? Third and final round, we're set to go here. Amateur 165 pound catch weight. Sean Felton, Dave Gabig, Chip Snyder is the third man in the cage. Here we go. Dave Gabig, Felton meet each other. Felton right coming out with middle. a big overhand right. Misses. Straight punch for Felton. Finding his range in this round. Lands a little jab there. Dave catches that kick. Oh, nice. Dave needs to tighten up. He's getting a little overzealous here. Inside leg kick there from Felton lands. Another uh, overhand right. A very weak attempt at overhand right, though. He may be showing signs of fatigue in this third round. Little left hook there, looping left hook from Felton He seems lands. to be flat-footed as well. Oh, One nice two. combo landed from Felton here. Felton, or uh, Gabig just walking through those punches, though, of Sean Felton. Now again, looking for that takedown against the cage. We're still in the first minute here of the third round. Gabig with good head position. Again with the good head position. And that is gonna make his opponent go wherever he wants him to go. It's hard to get off the cage when your head, you are gonna be going the way that your head is this going. This is the advantage of being a shorter guy in this circumstance. You know, it doesn't always work out for us short guys, but in this circumstance right here, it does. Nice, okay, he stems him. I don't know if that was a slip or if uh, Dave actually stung him, but. Yeah, it looked like a little bit of a slip there from Sean Fountain as he tried to release off of the cage. Under two minutes to go here. Uh, Dave the, has, he oh, looks like he's gonna go for the big slam. Looks like he's gonna go, okay. He, good defense by Felton. He's really, he's really getting out of has a great base. He's, he, he, he's really broadening his stance and preventing Dave to get that power double leg. Right, Dave looking to suck those hips in here for that double leg up against the cage. Minute 20 left to go. So gonna, Dave really needs to do something here to finish this fight. He needs to take this to the ground and finish it. Um, here we go. Oh, great defense by Felton. Great defense by Felton. Good takedown defense by Sean Felton as he knows that if he gets put on his back again in this oh, fight. Oh! Nice the slam. The big slam by Dave Gabig. Now he's known for that right there. This is why we love Dave Gabig. Big slam here, now, under a minute he to go head, in the but fight. It's doing nothing, okay. Now Dave really needs to pass guard here. He, he's content to stay in half guard. He really needs to pass and find his opening right. and exploit that. Dave Gabig actually in side control here against Sean Oh, Felton. okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know if this is kind of a triangle. It's really gonna go nowhere for this kid. An arm bar attempt, it looked like Okay, maybe. Dave needs to recover. He needs to get his head out. He needs to posture up and get away from the, the danger zone. Felton could really exploit this. I mean, if, if the kid can act on it, he may have a chance here. With 30 seconds left. 
Felton throwing some punches off of his back as he is still in this fight. No. Just 20 seconds left to go. And uh, Arm, Dave looks like he has a little too much. Armbar attempt there, but they're too slippery. Which Dave is, needs to posture up and strike. He needs to posture up and strike to show these judges that he won this fight. Another, looks like triangle attempt here from Sean Felton as we are going to go. There you go, there he the goes. He needs to stay there. Okay, great. You know what, I'm gonna give all three rounds to Dave Gavig. Um, the, the time off did nothing but great things for this kid. He looks awesome and I'm excited to see a lot more from him. Fantastic performance there from both guys actually. Dave Gabig coming back. We think he got his seventh MMA win, but Sean Felton was there the whole time. A great opponent here for Dave oh, Gabig. You know what, Sean Felton, he, he, he just looked like, the, you know, he tried to play his game, it didn't work out, but he was there all, all of it. You know, he very good composure, um, very respectful athlete. This wasn't his night. And you know, Dave has had some very, very hard trials and tribulations to get to this point. He actually was almost homeless at one point in his last training camp. And Rick, we're gonna take a look at some action there from the third round that I think we're gonna see that big slam uh, here. This is this is uh, signature Dave Gavig right here. I mean, this is what we, we expected from him. And it looks like George Phillips has the official result. We're gonna send it back up to him to see who won this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, another round of applause for a hard fought 165 pound amateur weight division contest. The final bell has rung and your judges have spoken. All three judges, Todd Kruska, Andy Atkins, and Kevin Armstrong saw it the same. 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision from the city of champions, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dave Cobb. Wonderful respect between these fighters. Uh, that's what I love about the sport. Beat each other to death and uh, Give it up for love Sean each other even Felton. more. He came here from Western New York to take this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Felton, super fly. Hey, Sean, nice fight. All right. I'm here with Dave Gabig. Me and Dave go way back to uh, the mid-2005s in Ohio at Cage of Chaos. This is Dave's first fight in four years. Over the past four years, Dave has had some personal battles and some struggles, and uh, he's overcame all of that to come back here and do what he just did. So give it up for Dave Gabig from the Pittsburgh Fight Club. All right, Dave, bumping the record up to seven and four. Very, 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 I hate to tell you, but very surprised how unrusty you look this <laughs> night, man. You look so great coming in here. You were so sharp. Took a couple strikes coming in in the first round. You won every round, man. Congratulations. You deserve the mic, and the mic is yours. Wow. I can't describe this feeling, man. Uh, four years has been a long time, and... I'll tell you what, I've been uh, down a very dark road four years away from fighting. I'll tell you what, there's no adrenaline rush, no drug in the world that can match this. So be strong, all you people out there. Find a good outlet like fighting or mixed martial arts or anything. Get off the streets and get into something that's productive. I just want to thank all my sponsors, Faded Beard, No Sleeves Nation, uh, Chris Nolan at Metcom Photos, Fight of Pittsburgh, Pride Lance Jiu Jitsu, my teammates and family, Come a Worthy, Mark Cherico, Greg Rudolph. It's good to see Cody back in the building. Uh, big shout out to the person that helped me out most during this fight, uh, my good friend April. 
Uh, she's done so much for me, getting me sponsors, selling tickets, talking to people, and the fight to me. So to her, a big thank you. And uh, goes to my dad, my biggest fan, front row. Don't start crying on me. All right, love y'all. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the fights. Dave Gabig.